what influences do you have in your life? Do you have an influencer that you love to follow that tells you and encourages you in so many ways or things that you like to listen to each day? Maybe it's music or a podcast, things that are speaking into your life. Do you have a friend that you go to all the time for advice? Will you consider today how they are shaping you? It says this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. You see, you can have so many things right in your life. You can have all the right morals, know all the rights and wrongs that you should be doing. But if you listen to the wrong people, they'll mislead you. They'll, they'll, you, you, you could be on the right path and then have these influences around you that take you the wrong way. And I want you to consider what your influences are. It's so important that we elevate God above all other voices. You see, because the, the Bible doesn't tell us not to hang out with people who are different than us. The Bible tells us actually to love those who are very different than us, that believe different things, maybe even that are lost in extravagant ways. But it also says don't let those people be an influence on you. Don't hold the kind of company where you allow them to speak into your life. Just be pouring into them with love and grace and wisdom as we receive it from God. So I want to remind you of this. This is all through the New Testament, but this Old Testament uh, thing in Psalms, that's so awesome. This is what I believe God really wants us to live like. He says this in Psalms uh, chapter 1. He says through the psalmist, blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners. Let this one sink in, the next one here, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. Please consider what that means. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law, he meditates day and night. It says that he is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in season and its leaf does not wither and all he does he prospers when we allow god's voice above all others to be elevated in our hearts our minds our spirits and then brought out in our actions through his spirit working in us we prosper we prosper because we are living in a different kingdom the world is filled with people who are going to try and tell you you can do this to be successful in this life but we don't live to be successful in this life we live to be successful in eternity and God's economy is so much more based on love than on greatness. So the greatest among us might be the least of us. The greatest among us is the one who serves his friend and serves the one who's very different than him and goes above and beyond to love his neighbor. So let's be that today. What are your influences? Where are you being spoken into that might not be like this first verse of Psalms says. Are you sitting in the seat of scoffers, looking at the things around you, saying, oh, that should be different. That's terrible. Are you standing in the way of sinners where you're going in the same way as they do? As you walk, are you walking like Jesus or you're walking like a sinner? Are you getting counsel from those who are wise and follow Jesus and love you and love God more than anything? Or are you getting counsel from wicked people? These are things that we should consider in our lives as we seek to follow Jesus. The greatest voice in our life needs to be God's voice, the Holy Spirit speaking to us so that we can live more like Jesus and love our neighbor well. Lord, I pray for my friends today. Would you help them to see the places in their lives where they might be in in a Moab, a place that is removed from you, that's surrounded by a culture that does not want to honor you. Lord, I pray that you would give them wisdom to discern how these different areas of our lives, these different influences around us are telling us how to live, are changing us from the inside out. Lord, I pray that you would help us to be transformed by your spirit more than anything else to not allow these other voices to speak into our lives, but allow your Holy Spirit to shape us, to transform us day by day. We wanna seek you, Jesus, and walk with you by your spirits. In your name we pray, amen. Blessings today, friends.